Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to talk about two variable data, scatter plots, and correlation. Alright, so bivariate data is shows the relationship between quantitative variables. Alright, we're going to have two variables, so bivariate, two variables. Um, explanatory variable or independent variable is on the x-axis. It explains or causes the change in the y variable. Our response variable or our dependent variable is on the y-axis and it measures the outcomes of the experiment or study. Um, variables can be both categorical, one categorical and one quantitative, or both quantitative. Categorical variables are represented with colors or symbols. Okay. Um, a scatter plot shows the relationship between two quantitative variable measures on the same individual. Individuals are represented by dots on the plot or ordered pairs. To interpret a scatter plot, we look for an overall pattern. All right, so we're looking at direction, is it positive or negative? Um, form, is it linear, exponential, quadratic? Strength, we're looking at the correlation, which is the R value. Um, and then on any deviations from the pattern or outliers. All right, and we have an acronym DUFS, D-U-F-S, for direction, unusual features, form, and strength. So if you're asked to interpret a scatter plot, those are the things you want to comment on. All right, so direction, a negative association. Again, you read a graph um, just like you read a sentence from left to right. So if it's going down from left to right, then it has a negative association. All right, if it's going up from left to right, then it has a positive association. Sometimes you might see something like this where it's going down and then it's going up. So it has a negative association until x equals whatever number x is there, and then a positive association. Um, unusual features could be outliers, um, high leverage points, and influential points. So um, what those kind of look like. So an outlier could just be um, a point that doesn't really fit with the other data. So we see this point here doesn't really fit with the data. Uh, high leverage point, it does fit with the data, but it's much further out on the x-axis. Okay, those actually help to strengthen that relationship. And then influential points um, are points that are going to really greatly change the slope of that um, line of best fit, the line that's kind of going through the center. All right, form. Uh, linear, curved, and scatter. These are kind of the more common forms. Uh, most of the time we're going to be working with linear, all right? Uh, so linear kind of forms a line-like pattern. It's not going to be a perfect line. Um, curved is going to have some sort of curve in it. And scattered is where you can't really tell if there's any sort of pattern at all. All right, strength. How well do the points fit the form? All right, whether it's linear or curved, how well do they fit that form? So I'm looking at how tight the, line, the dots are to the line. So this first one is pretty weak. Um, I can tell that it's positive, right, but I can't, like, it's not that strong because the points are uh, very spread out from the line, right? Now I'm getting a little bit stronger, maybe moderate, and then as I get more points closer to the line, it's becoming stronger and stronger. Right. Um, describe the scatter plot. So we have three different scatter plots here. This first one, I'm going to say... Um, it has a cluster at this section here. I'm going to call it X, Y, this ordered pair. Um, it's kind of like a bunch of points there. It also follows a curve pattern, so it's curved. It looks like it has a positive association. At the end, it's going upward. And it's pretty strong. If you draw that curve to it, it the points are pretty close to that curve. All right, this one is uh, linear. It's pretty strong, and it has a negative association. Uh, this one is positive. Linear, positive association, uh, moderately strong to strong. Um, again, that one outlier there at X, Y, whatever that ordered pair is, is kind of making the strength not as strong as like option two. All right, your turn. See if you can try these. So go ahead and like pause and try them, and I'll go over the answers in just one second. All right, hopefully you tried them for the first one. 
I would say this is curved. It has a negative association until x equals whatever number is, and then positive, and it is strong. Number two, again, that one looks kind of curved to me, uh, moderately strong and kind of more on the negative side. Again, it is kind of ending positive. So you could say, again, like you said for the first one, negative until and then positive. This one is linear. It has a positive association and I would say a moderate strength. This next one is like you have two clusters with a couple dots in between. Uh, so I would say like maybe linear. Again, the shape is not, is not super great. Uh, weak and negative. Correlation. Correlation measures the strength and direction of a linear relationship between x and y variables. All right, so positive r values correlate with a positive association. Negative r values mean we have a negative association. All right, correlation only measures the strength of linear relationships. All right, the formula for the correlation is this. All right, r is 1 over n minus 1 times the summation of each individual x value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation of x. So those are the z-scores for all of your x's times the z-score for all of your y's. So you take each ordered pair and you find the z-score of the x, z-score of the y, multiply them, add that to the next ordered pair, z-score of the x, z-score of the y, multiply them, and then multiply that by 1 over n minus 1. Okay, now you will not be expected to have to calculate this correlation using the formula. Uh, your calculator will do it all for you. So. Um, some things you need to know about correlation. Correlation always falls between negative 1 and 1 inclusively, meaning it can be equal to negative 1 and it can be equal to positive 1. R values close to negative 1 or 1 indicate that the point lies close to a straight line. All right, so it's either positive or negative. That's where the positive or negative tells you the direction. Is it going? Is it increasing or is it decreasing as you read it from left to right? Um, R values close to 0 indicate a weak linear relationship. R values of negative 1 or 1 indicate a perfect linear relationship, so if it is equal to 1 or negative 1, and R can be strongly affected by extreme values or outliers. Also, keep in mind that correlation does not equal causation. Just because there's a correlation between two things does not mean that there is causation. All right? In order to show causation, you have to have a well-designed experiment and a lot of other factors that we'll get into later. All right, go Seahawks.